Today's question is, is apostolic succession biblical? In this video, I'll answer that question from a biblical perspective. Then afterwards, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around until the end. The doctrine of apostolic succession is the belief that the twelve apostles pass on their authority to successors, who then pass on the apostolic authority onto their successors, continuing throughout the centuries even until today. The Roman Catholic Church sees Peter as the leader of the apostles with the greatest authority, and therefore his successors carry on the greatest authority. The Roman Catholic Church combines this belief with the concept that Peter later became the first bishop of Rome, and that the Roman bishops that followed Peter were accepted by the early church as the central authority among all of the churches. Apostolic succession combined with Peter's supremacy among the apostles results in the Roman bishop being the supreme authority of the Catholic Church, the Pope. However, nowhere in scripture did Jesus, the apostles, or any other New Testament writer set forth the idea of apostolic succession. Furthermore, neither is Peter presented as supreme over the other apostles. The apostle Paul in fact rebukes Peter when Peter was leading others astray, Galatians chapter 2 verses 11 through 14. Yes, the Apostle Peter had a prominent role. Yes, perhaps the Apostle Peter was the leader of the Apostles, although the book of Acts records the Apostle Paul and Jesus' brother James as also having prominent leadership roles. Whatever the case, Peter was not the commander or supreme authority over the other Apostles. Even if apostolic succession could be demonstrated from Scripture, which it cannot, apostolic succession would not result in Peter's successors being absolutely supreme over the other apostles' successors. Catholics point to Matthias being chosen to replace Judas as the twelfth apostle in Acts chapter 1 as an example of apostolic succession. While Matthias did indeed succeed Judas as an apostle, this in no sense is an argument for continuing apostolic succession. Matthias being chosen to replace Judas is only an argument for the church replacing ungodly and unfaithful leaders such as Judas with godly and faithful leaders such as Matthias. Nowhere in the New Testament are any of the twelve apostles recorded as passing on their apostolic authority to successors. Nowhere do any of the apostles predict that they will pass on their apostolic authority. No. Jesus ordained the apostles to build the foundation of the church, Ephesians chapter 2 verse 20. What is the foundation of the church that the apostles built? The New Testament, the record of the deeds and teachings of the apostles. The church does not need apostolic successors. The church needs the teachings of the apostles accurately recorded and preserved. And that is exactly what God has provided in his word, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13. In short, apostolic succession is not biblical. The concept of apostolic succession is never found in scripture. What is found in scripture is that the true church will teach what the scriptures teach and will compare all doctrines and practices to scripture in order to determine what is true and right. The Roman Catholic Church claims that a lack of ongoing apostolic authority results in doctrinal confusion and chaos. It is an unfortunate truth that the apostles acknowledge that false teachers would arise, 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 1. Admittedly, the lack of supreme authority among non-Catholic churches results in many different interpretations of the Bible. However, these differences in interpretation are not the result of scripture being unclear. Rather, they are the result of even non-Catholic Christians carrying on the Catholic tradition of interpreting scripture in accordance with their own traditions. If scripture is studied in its entirety and in its proper context, the truth can easily be determined. Doctrinal differences and denominational conflicts are a result of some Christians refusing to agree with what scripture says, not a result of there being no supreme authority to interpret scripture. Alignment with scriptural teaching, not apostolic succession, is the determining factor of the trueness of a church. What is mentioned in scripture is the idea that the word of God was to be the guide that the church was to follow, Acts chapter 20 verse 32. It is scripture that was to be the infallible measuring stick for teaching and practice, 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 16 through 17. It is the scripture that teachings are to be compared with, Acts chapter 17 verses 10 through 12. Apostolic authority was passed on through the writings of the apostles, not through apostolic succession. 
Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content and check out the details section below this video. There's one book I recommend along with several related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, got questions? The Bible has answers and we'll help you find them.